a hillside full of crosses to remember those that never came home. Those like senior airman Jonathan Antonio Vega Yelner, Jake to friends, Vega to those in his convoy, and son to his mom Yolanda. Uh, he joined the Air Force. Uh, I remember when he called me and he said, guess what I'm doing, Mom? Oh, uh, now what? What are you doing? He goes, I'm joining the Air Force. At this Memorial Day ceremony, Yolanda shared Jonathan's story to the crowd at Lafayette Hillside Memorial, said to be a place for remembering. Two tours in, and Jonathan came back with more news to share with mom back in 2007. He said, I'm going to Afghanistan. No, you're not. He said, yeah, I am. I said, no, you're not. And he said, yep, I am. So he left January 2008, and he was killed April 29th, 2008. Yolanda, now a gold star mom, fought back her emotions as she spoke with us and as she talked to others about her son. The next day, there were two Air Force men in my office. My secretary came out and said, uh, there are two Air Force men out here. They need to speak with you. And I just, I didn't want to see them. It's been one day at a time, one foot in front of the other. It's that courage that is recognized by those here. Thank you. The, no one can ever repay you for the unbelievable loss you've had, but thank you for supporting your family member. Of the soldiers who died. Each cross representing a family like Yolanda's, still dealing with loss, but focusing on the good. In this case, the last thing Jonathan said to his mom before that dark day. Mommy, I'm doing what's right. I'm serving my country. J.R. Stone, ABC7 News.